I love being a scientist. It just excites me to discover something new. And I think one of the other amazing things for me has, and quite unexpected, has been that my work in the last few years has actually helped patients. I can't imagine doing anything more exciting than science. It's one of the most wonderful things there is. What could be more exciting than discovering something new? For me, that is, that is the excitement of science, being the first person to see something that nobody else has ever seen. One of my most exciting discoveries, which I remember very vividly even today, was when I found um, a particular protein that is involved in the way in which glucose stimulates the release of insulin from the pancreatic beta cell. And this is a tiny microscopic pore found in the membrane of the cell. And when it's open, insulin is not released. And when it's shut, insulin is released. And what glucose does is shut this little pore and so stimulate insulin secretion. I think perhaps one of the things that made me a scientist that is, is that I've always been curious. I've always wanted to know how things worked. And I've always asked questions or tried to find things out. And I was encouraged in that by my various teachers. It's hard to define the three most important qualities for a scientist. I think I'd say curiosity, perseverance, and a strong support system. It was put very well by uh, Feynman. He said, you know, science is imagination in a straitjacket. One of the things that the EU has done that has been very helpful is to promote women in science, in particular um, to ensure that women form part of European networks and to promote um, training for young women. In fact, in recent years, it's been a positive advantage to be a woman because everybody wants to have a woman speak at their conference. So I think we probably get more invitations to speak as a consequence of being female. And I'd say to every woman, even if you feel that you're being asked to speak because you're female, take it, do it well, and next time they'll ask you for yourself. <laughs>